네, 버나드 케인과 함께하는 미국 주식 시간 구글링에서도 나오지 않던 정보들 지금 이 시간에 저희가 정말 알차고 디테일하게 담아드리고 있고요. 그동안에 소개해드렸던 종목들 위주로 베스트 탑5 살펴보고 오시죠. 네, 버니와 함께하는 미국 주식 베스트 탑5 종목들입니다. 부동의 1위 더 트레이드 데스크 지금 방송일 종가 72.78달러라고 나와 있는데 어제 기준으로 81달러 기록했고요. 어제 하루 동안 2.6% 기록하면서 그동안의 낙폭을 만회해주는 모습입니다. 두 번째 종목은 마이크로소프트입니다. 자, 두 번째로 지금 올라오는 모습인데 어, 새롭게 2위 자리로 안착을 했습니다. 방송일 종가가 300달러, 어제 기준은 314달러까지 올라왔고 어제 강보합권에서 거래를 마쳤습니다. 세 번째는 새롭게 들어온 종목이 눈에 띄네요. 크라우드 스트라이크고요. 방송 날짜가 지난주입니다. 1월 4일에 방송됐던 크라우드 스트라이크는 방송일 종가 189달러였고요. 오늘은 1.86% 상승하면서 192달러에서 거래를 마쳤습니다. 4위와 5위는 익숙한 종목들인데 지금 수익률이 조금 떨어지면서 현재 좀 부진한 수익률을 기록을 하고 있습니다. 자, 스노우플레이크는 상승률 1.5%, 빌닷컴은 0.6% 기록했습니다. 하고 있습니다. 네, 수익률 종목들 체크하고 돌아왔습니다. 저희가 어떤 여러 개 종목만 머무르는 게 아니라 다양한 종목들을 소개해드리고 있기 때문에 수익률이 좀 부진하더라도 그 다음에 소개해드리는 종목들로 또 갈아타시고 새롭게 알게 되는 종목들까지 포트폴리오를 구성을 다채롭게 해보신다면 미국 주식도 계속 즐겁게 해보실 수 있을 겁니다. 오늘도 좀 새로운 종목을 소개해드리려고 하는데 오늘은 캐나다의 전자상거래 플랫폼인 쇼피파이에 대해서 알아보도록 하겠습니다. 아마존 오늘 유력 대항마라고 불리는 쇼피파이인데요. 어떤 기업인지 설명부터 해주시죠. This is a company Shopify that I really like. Um, we have to put it in context though because it's grown so fast lately. But it's it's been a dominant market player in what it does for the last five years. So Shopify offers businesses that are looking to establish an online presence, all sorts of things. The ability to build websites simply, plug and play. The ability to conduct marketing campaigns. The ability to accept payments and credit card payments. The ability to ship products. The ability to provide other services through its e-commerce platform. And what it does is if you enter in, say you're selling something, and you enter in the inventory that you have and then you make sales, Shopify's um, platform will keep track of your, of your inventory and what you have left. It's a super smart platform, and it makes it easy for people that don't have experience programming to be able to build an online presence from their, let's call it brick and mortar stores or their physical store locations. So Shopify's brand awareness has expanded dramatically in the last few years and especially during COVID. Now we talked about uh, Starbucks just a few minutes ago and how Starbucks was a good buy coming out of COVID. Well, Shopify was a monster buy coming out of COVID. Small and medium-sized businesses had been forced to accelerate their efforts to build an online presence because people couldn't come into their stores. So Shopify now serves 1.7 million businesses in 175 different countries. Shopify has recently started making select services like they call it Shop Pay available to third party merchants that are not on its platforms. So it's reaching out and trying to get other businesses that are not on its platforms to be able to utilize some of the things that Shopify does so well. That move is going to broaden usage and is also going to entice those customers to jump ship and move completely over to the Shopify network. I think it's a stellar idea. When the stock market gets choppy, investors really appreciate consistency and reliability in financial results and revenue growth streams. Shopify has demonstrated its staying power admirably with 
more than a sevenfold growth in just the first four years after its IPO. Shopify proved to be a lifesaver for the small business community in 2020. COVID forced all those businesses to move online, even though they wouldn't have chosen to do so at that time. The revenue jumped from $1.6 billion in 2019 to almost $3 billion in 2020. It would be easy to think that that growth would stall as the vaccine rollouts started to help ease the impact of the pandemic and allowed many businesses to reopen their physical storefronts. But yet there hasn't really been any sign of a, show, a slowdown in 2021. So why do you think that is? And I think it's because it's so much easier to be able to generate a new business uh, relationship with new customers with an online presence through Shopify than they would have ever had to been able to do before. And it's an addendum to the physical operation. So only the people in the areas of your stores can visit those stores. People all around the country or around the world can't do that. There are a couple of things that stand out. Everything Shopify does enhances and strengthens its platform's value to its merchants' customers. Management is so driven on building out a great platform for its customers and letting the revenue and the income take care of itself. The company is making its ShopPay electronic payment system available to merchants, as we talked about, who sell on rival platforms like Facebook or Instagram or any Google platform. Also, as businesses reopen, Shopify is developing point-of-sale technology to bridge the gap between the physical store and the online storefront. Now, with over 7 million merchants using Shopify, the company has gained nearly 9% market share in e-commerce sales in 2020. So let's really think about what that means. In the third quarter, it reached $400 billion on cumulative gross merchandise volume that was purchased through the Shopify platform by the uh, customers that were um, purchasing from the companies that were on the platform, which is double in just over 16 months. Management has said that they see a $153 billion opportunity in small to medium-sized business space, which is massive compared to the company's current $4 billion in annual revenue. 153 to four. Shopify is number two in e-commerce. It's now ahead of Walmart. Yes, they lag Amazon, which is the biggest, but they're ahead of Walmart, they're ahead of Apple, they're ahead of Home Depot. 네, 쇼피파이가 어떤 기업인지에 대해서 자세한 설명을 들어봤습니다. 정말 어, 세계에서 손에 꼽는 그런 어, 정말 최대 전자상거래 플랫폼 기업이다라고 말할 수가 있겠는데 팬데믹 상황이 종식된 이후에도 쇼피파이가 어떤 식으로 살아남을지가 궁금합니다. 앞으로 생존을 기회해서 어떤 기회를 만들고 있는지도 설명해 주시겠습니까? Think about this. You have your business online on the Shopify platform. Shopify sees everything that goes through. It sees how long your uh, how long it takes to get your revenues going, how fast your inventory turns on your website. So what Shopify does is it takes your customer history and uses it as a merchant to be able to offer the merchants working capital loans. And they've got the best information to be able to make those decisions, better than any bank or any lender, because they're seeing your flows minute by minute, day by day, hour by hour, week by week, month by month. Over the last, nobody can see it better than that. Over the last couple of years, they've expanded into warehousing and cross-stocking going further into things that Amazon does in terms of their area of expertise. There aren't too many customers you think about that can serve single entrepreneurs, small business, and large corporate entities. 
They are ma there are massive companies that have turned to Shopify to run their online businesses and to be able to span that stretch of customers is super impressive. So we just don't go from the single single managed company to the multi uh, nation multinational company. We just can't think of them as only for small businesses. The company's growth has just been outstanding. Its monthly recurring revenue rate has grown at a 46% compounded annual growth rate. I've mentioned before that I think the best factor for determining stock performance that outperforms the overall market is revenue growth in uh, excess of expectations. This is great revenue growth. As time goes on, there will be more and more companies that expand into the online presence. That's just more customers for Shopify. The total addressable market for small and medium-sized businesses, as we talked about, is $153 billion. But remember, they're also penetrating the larger brands with the likes of what's called Shopify Plus. There are over 7,000 apps that can be downloaded and installed on the Shopify platform. There are many stores of stories of businesses that survived the pandemic. These companies were forced to go online. They didn't think they were going to make money. They were scared they were going to go out of business. They had zero sales during the shutdown. But they put their businesses online and they recovered to about 50% of their revenues over nine months later. Now, many of those same companies are moving to a larger customer base and they've become lifetime customers for Shopify. The company is quietly testing a new search feature in the Shopify app that would allow buyers to browse items across many of the merchants at once. So typically you log into somebody's website, okay, and they're powered by Shopify. But what Shopify wants to be able to do is to be able to give you access not only to that customer's website, but to other customers all at the same time. Shopify insiders have told uh, have told people that the insider function could make Shopify more like Amazon, potentially upsetting other sellers. But I think Shopify is so focused on making a good experience for their customers that they're going to be able to figure out how to do that without uh, ruffling feathers. Shopify also just rolled out what's called gift shop which allows users to be able to buy gifts from Shopify merchants and then send them via text, email, social media, any of that sort of thing, so that they can send them out as gifts. 네, 쇼피파이에 대한 전망들 알아봤습니다. 이번 주 금요일도 쇼피파이의 이도, 그동안의 실적 그리고 앞으로의 전망들 짚어드릴 예정이니까 금요일 버니의 미국 주식 시간에도 함께해 주시기 바라겠고요. 문자 샵 0082번에 버니의 미국 주식이라고 문자 전송해 주시면 이런 이야기들 방송 외에도 얻어보실 수가 있습니다.